All right, so this, uh, this series of photographs that, you, that we're looking at here is, is based on a series of road trips that I've done uh, both in the States uh, on a road trip that I did to Santa Fe and back and also various trips uh, around the island and up in the interior, Fraser Canyon, uh, Salmon Arm area, uh, Kamloops. And what I'm looking for in these, in these images is uh, really it's about abandonment and uh, entropy, uh, architecture is folk art, uh, that sort of thing. Well, I suppose in a sense, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get people to open their eyes to what we, we coined in, in this particular exhibition as the, the modern landscape. So it, it really extends beyond uh, what we typically think of, a, of, of the landscape in being uh, scenics and really comes down to uh, how we, we live and occupy and transform and are transformed by the things we do in our landscapes. So the really to me is, is really the modern landscape. It's, it's uh, again, it's about certain bits of architecture and uh, iconography like the flags, uh, religious themes, uh, political themes, and road themes. Uh, I guess in a sense I, I look at all of these things as being works of fiction. And in works of fiction, uh, there's a certain amount of, uh, from the viewer or the reader's point of view, that, that has to instill uh, their own meanings into those. Uh, so that's why I kind of look at them as being works of fiction, so that you, you can look at them and, and get whatever you get out of them. But I sort of start with that, with that concept of, uh, here's something to look at, uh, whether it's a building or a piece of concrete or what have you and you really are the one that has to imply a lot of his own meaning in it. My pieces are a body of work that I've worked on for a couple of years and uh, basically it, it's a comment on civilization and, and the urban landscape and, and how um, we see it in its deterioration. So uh, when I walk along the beach and I see detritus that has been left behind by people and how it's how it's sort of falling apart and uh, rusting and it it, uh, it sort of dismays me in some way. But then I look at it another way and I see the art in it. You know, there's an aesthetic quality in, in stuff that is not, we would not consider to be art, basically garbage, right? Or, or the waste that we leave behind. And uh, so this is, this is my story and it's, it's uh, sort of a depiction of that. And what I'm trying to do in, in this, in, in particular in this show, is tied in with, with uh, Francis as he does the urban landscapes uh, and I'm doing what's sort of left behind after they've gone. Uh, some of these are, were shot in uh, Mississauga in Ontario and some were down on, uh, from Willow Beach just down the road. So. It's a it's a spans a different time frame, but it's it still relates to each other, which I find interesting. And uh, when I had a chance, and I knew I was working with Francis for this show, I thought this this work would fit in quite well with his. It's a, it's a, it's a different take on on what we do and how we view the urban landscape, but it, at the same time, uh, an up close view is kind of a, a landscape in itself. So what I'm trying to do is, is show you the landscape that most people don't see. So earlier you showed me a little bit of your poem. So can you talk about the poem a little bit and do you want to recite it? I can recite it if you want, but I'd have to read it. <laughs> is that okay? Um, so this, is, this sort of relates to... Uh, my walk along the beach. So it, it was there for all to see, but who saw it? A modern landscape 
Pale rose and ash gray sands flushed with marked trails of plastic, rust, and concrete. I'm sure there was a story. A history if you wanted to find it. A history of enterprise, a history of neglecting. We seem to be good at marking it, our trails. But really, what are we leaving behind? Greek temples, Roman Colosseums, German cathedrals. Perhaps it's better like this. Nature can have its way with us. And maybe in a couple hundred thousand years, there will be no trace. Only a memory whispered in the kiss of a wave on a lonely beach.